Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. Stephen A unloads on Jason Whitlock. Oh, 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 Stephen A, Stephen A will come with a thing with them hate makers, what? Stephen A, uh, uh, Whitlock calls Stephen A's book farcical, saying he had an issue with the claim that he recruited by Winston-Salem State to play basketball despite only playing one year in high school. Whitlock yeah. said Stephen A was lying about going to an open trial in, at Winston-Salem and hitting 17 three-pointers and getting a scholarship offer after that's uh, right on the spot. Stephen A says he contacted ESPN leaders just to warn them about his segment on Jason mm. Whitlock. I don't know if you watched the show, but I told Stephen A, I said, Stephen A, will you yeah. please stop lending people your audience? Yeah. Sometimes, Why? some listen, sometimes you got people, you got to put people in your place. Sometimes He's you got to pe put, put people in your place. Because what happens is if you don't say nothing, they're going to keep on coming at you and they're going to keep on coming for you. Normally, when you're in school and there's a bully and he's bullying you, he's going to keep on bullying you until you stand up to him. So at some point, I'm assuming Stephen A is fed up because Mr. Oh, Whitlock has always been going at him and going at him and going at him and going at him and taking shots at but him that's his throughout man. the years. And now he's finally fed up. you got to stand up for yourself. But Ocho, this is what Stephen A says. Stephen A says, I'm a very forgiving person, not with him. I hate this, you know. B A S T A R D far more than a little bit. He's the worst human being of any you ever you'll ever meet. You get oh. with a mile of his presence, wrap your arms around him, and to protect your soul. Mm. He's Cain. Uh, he's the devil, the worst. That's all I have to say. Mm. Ocho, I get it. <clears throat> you got to stand up for yourself sometime, Uncle. You can't do that. Sometime you got to stand up for yourself. That's like yeah. that's, that's like your, like your mama sent you to school. Boy, if somebody hits you, you better hit him back. And if you don't hit him back, you come home. I'm gonna march your ass right back down to that school, mm -hmm. so you get your lick back. At some point in the Bible, God said, "If somebody slap you, turn turn the other cheek." No, that's in the Bible. See, I ain't in there. Okay, yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> yeah, that, that that right there, turn the other cheek. I ain't in there. That he he was talking about people that was in the Bible. I right. ain't in there. But but think I'm about put it. I'm on you. Slap me. Listen, Stephen A. Stephen A. Smith. I'm assuming has been turning the other cheek for a very long time. And yeah. now he's at the point where he's fed up. Yeah. So therefore, to me, listen, I like to see this side. I like to see a different side of Stephen A. Smith. I think all journalists that have a problem with somebody that is sick of people always picking on them or taking shots or saying something, I think they all should, you know what? I think everybody, chat, all journalists that are going to see this, regardless of what platform you're on, if you have a problem with somebody, I think you should take the Stephen, the Stephen A. Smith route. Let somebody oh, know. Oh, it's God. so refreshing. It's oh. so refreshing to see somebody be their authentic, organic self when they have a problem with somebody instead of that same politically correct bullshit that we always spew. Oh, I like oh, it. Ocho. The you don't the like thing, it? No, you no. Can't like, for you got to like me, it. For me, for me, Ocho, look, guys, guys are starting to take shots at me that never took shots at me before. And you and, and you, I know you just did you did it on the last show. See, you just no, did the same I, but thing. No, but no, no, Ocho, no, I didn't. I didn't mention no name. I remember mean, people knew who I was talking about. I still don't know who you're talking about. I was and, just going. But along. here's the thing: what this is what I'm trying to tell. Look, yes, sir. if you yes, look sir. at career wise, you look at where Stephen A. is, and right. you look at the guy that he was talking about. Stephen A. is up here. He's here, right. or even lower. So, mm. in other words, see, Ocho, you remember like when we were growing up. And somebody be going, hey, man, you going to town? Hey, let me catch a ride. Mm -hmm. See, the only way he can get up if he's attached himself to Stephen A. Or somebody Ooh. that's higher that's going up. I Come leave him now. alone. Right. I don't, I don't, look. I don't mess with him. I don't mess with him. He knows I don't mess with him. He likes to bring my name. You know Fox tried to feed him some information about this and that. And he threatened. Mm -hmm. I don't get into all that. I just look. I know who I am. I know what I am. Okay, y'all say all y'all little stuff because see the problem, the problem that he has with me, see, and this is what a lot of people have that, mm -hmm. that are journalists. You see, I sit at this, I can sit at a desk on ESPN or I did it at Fox and I can do what they do. Mm -hmm. They could never live in my world. They could never play pro sports. So mm -hmm. now not only could I play sports and I was damn good, mm -hmm. I can sit across and I'm more entertaining. I'm more mm -hmm. informative. Mm -hmm. 
I'm more educational than you. And see, those that can do, those that mm. can't talk. You see, mm. they can all they can do is talk. I could do. That irks them. Yeah. It irks them that somebody from South rural South Georgia with a lisp that overcame that can do this. It bothered them that mm-hmm. complex voted me most entertaining. Come on, guy. It bothered them. It bothered them that I got the interview with Cat Williams, the second most viewed inter- in a, uh, interview on in YouTube history. The 42 second million. 42 million, my 42. Dad. Come on now. They mad about that, Ocho. And they owe this and that. Why y'all bother me? I've never said anything about anybody because yeah. I don't care about you. Mm-hmm. Stephen A and I, you know, Stephen A and I have always been cool. Now, obviously, we're a lot cooler now. He was always cordial to me. I think there's a fondness there because he went to HB, uh, HBCU and so did I. So I mm-hmm. know the plights of people that go. Now, now, I don't know. What is like now is probably a lot better mm-hmm. than when I was than when Stephen A and I was in school. Right, I'm almost certain of it. So, so but I don't know why so many of these guys got to put my name in, in the mouth. It seems to be the only way they can get clicks. You never hear me come on. I've never, unless somebody has said something about me. You don't hear me mention anybody's name. I've never gone on my podcast and talk about a former reporter. When I talk about players. I'm critiquing their play. Right. That's it. I don't just go out there and just start, and, I, and I'm paid for that. Mm-hmm. But they mad. They see, I got 2.35 million subs on, on Club Shay Shay. We're going to about to hit, in another two weeks, we're going to hit 800,000 subs in a mm-hmm. podcast that's three and a half months old. Right. And so now, the fact that, you know, somebody might throw the bag at, oh, man, that show might get picked up. Somebody might throw the bag at, at Nightcap. Mm-hmm. Now they mad. Everybody got so, oh, he was a loose cannon. Oh, he was this. And if he keeps doing, bro, I ain't said nothing. I ain't never said nothing. Right. I don't bother nobody. But I tell you what, just leave me alone. Right. Just just leave me alone. Whatever you got going on, why are you mentioning my name? I don't mention your name. I don't care about you. I, and so, yeah. look. That's crazy. Look, me and Clay Travis, we don't have anything in common. Mm-hmm. Clay Travis don't F with the dude that Stephen A was talking about. Right. That should tell you everything you need to know. Clay Travis don't monk, don't rock with it. And I, I had my issue, I had my issue with Clay Travis. Y'all can go look up, y'all can go dig up the tweet. Right. All I said was, bro, I don't know you and you don't know me, but don't make me lose my job. Enjoy the rest of your day. I left it at that. You hit him with that, Unc? That's all I did. You can pull up the tweet. That's all <laughs> I said. And I don't, I don't, I, all that back and forth, I ain't about that. This, I had one issue the, with the guy that, uh, uh, with Steven, they got into it with. I told my mm-hmm. bosses, I said, hey, just keep just tell them to keep my, hey, I won't be here long because I don't play. All that, I don't do all that back and forth. Leave me the F alone. I don't bother nobody. Right. But boy, I'm telling you, he don't want the problem. Just leave me. I don't know why he feels such a need to keep my name. Okay, whatever you got going on with Stephen A., that's it. Okay, y'all both work at uh, ESP. You're both journalists. Maybe there's competition there. I don't right. know. Leave me the F alone. I'm not what you want. <laughs> I'm not. So that's why, I, Ocho, if you see me nine times out of ten, if I'm not in the airport, if I'm not, like, working, mm-hmm. Shannon by himself. Right. You see me in Whole Foods, you see me in Target, you see me, I'm by myself. I'm Mm -hmm. home 90% of the time with my dogs because I don't fool with people. And what I've started to see, and I didn't see it at first, everybody saw what was going on with Shannon before Shannon actually saw it himself. Right. Ash used to tell me, Shannon, you don't understand what you are. I said, Ash, I'm just, she said, no, Shannon, no, 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 you're not. You're not, no, you're not the same. You're not the same Shannon that you walked in here in 2016. You're a different right. Shannon now. Mm-hmm. I said, but I asked, I said, she said, no, Shannon. Everybody saw what was happening before I did. Ocho, think about it. Now all of a sudden I'm funny. Now all of a sudden I got takes. I've always had them. But now I'm free. 
Yeah. Stephen A is Stephen A. There's nothing like, I've never been jealous of a teammate. When Rod Smith started to come on, I gladly, hey, I'm still trying to get my thing, but I'm giving him information. Ask Rod. His locker was mm-hmm. right across from mine. Yeah. I remember when he first walked in there, he said, I want to be like you. I said, what you mean? He said, I want the love and respect the fans give you. I want the way the, the, uh, the team, the way they treat you, that's what I want to be. I said, well, this is what you need to do. Rod started coming on. Hey, come on, Fuzz, let's get this. That's how I am. I don't right. be bothered. No, everybody, ask anybody at CBS. Ask anybody at Fox. I ain't talking about the higher ups. Because all the stuff, you, you never heard anything about Shannon Sharp for six and a half years until all of a sudden the news broke that Shannon Sharp was parting ways with Fox. And then all of a sudden, Shannon Sharp is the worst person ever. Hmm. Never heard a peep. Go ask ESP. I don't bother nobody. They call me and right. say, can you do this? Hey, I'm done. I'm there. What do you think about hey, I'm good. Stephen A wants to know if you, okay, I'm cool. That's how I am. I don't bother people because I don't want nobody to bother me. But somehow, my name, mm. whatever you got going on with Stephen A, I just wish Stephen A would let it go. I really, right. I really do. But I, I like it. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it because sometimes when you don't address stuff, like I told you before, when you don't address stuff, man, they will continue to try to bully you. They will continue to keep keep your name, keep your name in their mouth. That's just that's just yeah. that's life. That's the nature of yeah. the nature of the business. And to see what Stephen A. Smith did, which you don't see very often from journalists, I mean, it's it's refreshing. It's refreshing. And he said he's not going to address it anymore. And that, that, that's it. That's yeah. it. I mean, it's- uh, uh, Ocho, check this out. I was in the, I was in the airport, and the guy tried to prop me up. He like, man, hey, man, you great. You a great addition to the show. Uh, but I'm trying to put Stephen A. down. Say, my man, don't do that. Mm. I said, you can give me a prop without trying to stand on him. Mm. Don't do that. Right. I'm not, hey, I appreciate you giving me kudos. I appreciate you saying I'm this. Right. But we can do that without saying something negative about him. I'm not right. going to stand for that. Mm-hmm. Nah, then we ain't going to do that. Because that, think about it now. I got a ginormous personality. I'm, I'm a big presence. Ain't a whole lot of people in Stephen A position would have brought me on. Right. Ain't no way in hell. Ain't no way in hell. Because had I been this in 2016, you think they'd have brought me on at Fox? Me being what I am as I sit in this chair, Ocho, you think they'd have mm-hmm. brought me on at Fox? Hell nah. no. Hell nah. And I'm okay with I understand that. I pay. Hey, I do my thing. I come to work. I show up. I punch the clock. I go home. Ain't cause nobody no problem. Right. Damn. Hey, listen. In the great words of, I don't even know who said the quote. Can't we all just get along? Yeah, we could. Can't we all just get along? But I mean, hey, they 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 they, they gonna take your shots. It come with the territory, huh? It, you got, it, you got it, to be it, ready it, for it. It, it. it come it come with the territory. Oh, Joe. I don't mind people that don't know me taking shots at me because you don't uh-huh. know me. Right. But how you going to be pretending like we were cool mm. and now you try to take a subtle shot. But right. I saw it coming, but it's starting to come with greater frequency and regularity. Right. What? I gave you kudos when you were doing your thing. Right. I just, I, I just, I just don't get it. Joe. I, I don't, but little do they know what's for me. God going to give it to me. They can't take it. it. You're going to get it regardless. What's for you? Whatever it is. If a bowling ball is supposed to drop on your head, that's what's going to happen. If you're supposed to win the lottery of a hundred million, that's what's going to happen. You're going to get what's intended for you. Oh, yeah. So what's intended for me? But they make it seem like what what bothers me, Ocho, is that people seem like if I start to get a little success and they think mm-hmm. money's going to come along with it, that the money is their money. All that money, the government, the government printed a three, four, five trillion dollars during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. They're not finna run out of money. Mm-mm. It's enough for everybody too. It's enough for everybody. Enough for everybody. But somebody might talk, might say, call Shannon name a little more than they call theirs. They might say, I like Shannon take on said subject more than they like theirs. Mm. I don't think I've always thought like this. 
And this is what my grand and my grandfather instilled in us. You're not better than someone else. Mm -hmm. You just can do a job better than they can. Mm. I believe I can do this better than anyone. Right. That's what I believe. And I ain't got to, I ain't got to bang my chest. I ain't got to do all this. And no, I ain't no columnist. I ain't no investigative reporter. And I ain't no new. No, nah, no. Nah. And see, that's what Ocho. I mean, it's kind of like how actors feel when somebody didn't go to Juilliard or they're not right. trained, and right, all of a right, sudden right. they come on and they have success. They look at them. They 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 look at them sideways. I mean, bro, you still got your role. You still getting your money. Yeah, but. Uh, that, that's just the way I am. But everybody, like you said, Ocho, everybody is it like that. Um, and I'm starting to understand it. And my, that's one thing my sister said. She said, Shannon, you're going to get that. Yeah. Just I got a question. Say, yes. Have you ever thought about the individuals that are saying anything or just having a reason to point out something you're doing or keeping your name in their mouth? Have you thought about reaching out and asking them what the problem is? No. Nah. They got my number. Oh, they already got your contact too, so they could they could have came to you first. Of course. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Of All course right. they could have. All right, they come see, to me with other stuff. All right, I see what you see where you're going. I hear we're going. Damn, but it's all oh, Joe, it's all good. I'm gonna keep doing me. Yeah. I'm gonna keep doing me. Oh, we we got to, we got to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure you do. Shit. But they about they gonna be mad here shortly. Trust me, they gonna be mad. They're going to be mad at us, Ocho. They're going to be real mad. And then what? 